CPHI MIS exam preparation question and answer. Question number 121. Complete the list of Thomas Kilsman's five conflict management style. Competing, accommodating, avoiding and A. Collaborating and compromising B. Colluding and connecting C. Communicating and compromising D. Cooperating and connecting. Answer A. Collaborating and compromising explanation. The five conflict management style orientations are competing, accommodating, avoiding, collaborating and compromising. Question number 122. The characteristic of quality data that is says that data attributes and values should be defined at the appropriate level of detail is known as A. Precision b accuracy c relevancy d granularity answer d granularity question number 123 if a person typically tends to delegate controversial decisions and accept others' decisions, which of the following style which of the following styles best describe his behavior? A. Accommodating B. Avoiding C. Collaborative D. Competitive Answer B. Avoiding explanation. People who tend to use an avoiding style seek to avoid the conflict entirely. They avoid controversial decisions. This style can be appropriate when victory is impossible, when the controversy is trivial, or when someone else is in a better position to solve the problem. Question number 124. Consider it CDS system that extracts clinical information from EHR, sends it to a web service where it, it is processed using clinical algorithm and then transmits CDS back to clinician and the patient at the point at, okay, the patient at the point of care. Barriers to broad dissemination this type of CDS system include all of the following except a Getting physician leaders from many medical groups to agree on, on a clinical goal for BP, AI, BP, A1C, lipid management and aspirin use in various groups of patients. B. Concern about data security when transmitting personal health information using the cloud. C. The potential of EHR derived clinical information to be inaccurate or incomplete. D. Desire to provide evidence-based care personalized to each patient. E. Low use of CDS system by primary care providers. Answer D. Desire to provide evidence-based care personalized to each patient. Explanation. Most primary care clinicians are trained to personalize care to each patient based on institution and clinical judgment. Most providers prefer that treatment treatments be evidence based. Question number 125. Advantages of web based rather than within EMR clinical decision support system include all of the following except a Many medical groups can use single CDS installation. B. Updating CDS algorithm when guidelines changes is cheaper in web-based services. C. Updating CDS algorithm when guidelines change is less prone to error if only one installation requires updating. D. Data security is improved when CDS is web-based. 
key. The most shared CDS installation node likely to be lower than the aggregate cost of each material groups doing their own CDS installation. Answer D. Data security is improved when CDS is web based. Explanation Medical groups have varying programmer capacity and expertise, which is needed to maintain and update CDS algorithm, maintaining a large CDS installation that can serve many medical groups, lower costs, reduce programming errors, and enable more rapid dissemination of new guidelines. However, transmission of data from, from the EMR to web service and back require additional measures to uh, assure data security. Question number 126. The most valuable asset of clinical information is a information. Question number 126. The most valuable asset of a clinical informatician in a quality improvement project centered on clinical decision support is their knowledge of a. Data standards b. Clinical and information system workflows c. EHR functionality d. Database structure Answer B. Clinical and information system workflows. Explanation. All of the above are important for well-rounded clinical information. The asset of the asset of greatest value. However, in potential success and minimizing unattended consequence of quality improvement project is their knowledge of workflows. Even if they are intimately familiar with exact clinical workflow at hand, even if some somewhat generic clinical workflows knowledge coupled with an understanding of technical workflows are a critical contribution to a successful implementation. Question number 127. An ERD is key component of this phase of data modeling. A. Normal model. B. Logical model. C. Conceptual model. D. Physical model. Answer C. Conceptual model. Question number 128. The most fundamental strength of clinical pathways is its ability to help space clinical care and best practice a improve b disseminate c standardize d accelerate answer c standardize explanation all of these are potentially a strength of a clinical path phase but a b and d are all dependent on c the standardization of care that a clinical pathways pathway efforts question number 129 all of the following are limitation to the broad applicability of existing guidance about how to implement an EHR except a existing EHR implementation guidance is based on valid experience and research and comes from respected healthcare academic and government institution b work describing and implementation addresses a narrow pop population okay example a small rur rural primary care clinics c some literature is becoming less relevant with time example paper to ehr transition d guidance focuses on a single aspect of an implementation example cpoe e Guidance tends to be 
non-controversial and described at a high level. Example training is important. On Saturday, existing EHR implementation guidance guidance is based on valid experience and research and comes from respected healthcare, academic and government institution. Explanation answer B, C, D and E are all limitation to the broad applicability of existing guidance about how to implement an EHR specifically. Limitation include narrow population or settings. Dec dec decreasing relevance of paper to electronic implementation literature as more systems have established established EHR in place focus on implementation of single aspect of an EHR rather than entire EHR implementation and high level recommendation that may not instruct leaders about the specific of how to execute such recommendation Despite these limitations, the existing work is based on valid real-world experience and research by respected individual and institution. Thus, the correct answer is A. Question number 130. Which of the following combination correctly represent lessons learned in this health system EHR implementation? A. Given the vendors have extensive experience with implementation, do not deviate from vendor guidance. Develop an infrastructure of point people from various domains to support the implementation work. Get an early start with change management. Forgo developing a strategy related to EHR implementation as the vendor will guide you to a successful outcome. B. Begin an implementation with internal alignment of practice, policies, equipment so that there is consistency throughout the organization, develop an infrastructure of point people from various domains to support the implementation work, recognize that sometimes vendor guidan guidance will be appropriate and other times an organization may need to follow its own plan. Wait to initiate change management effort until four to six weeks before go live so that rest of the implementation work can be completed first. C. Get an early start with change management. Begin implementation with internal alignment of practice, policies, equipment so that these are consistent across organization. Develop infrastructure of point people from various domains to support the implementation work. Maintain humility. humility. D. Begin an implementation with internal alignment, practice, policies, equipment so that there is a consistency throughout the organization. No training, no access, no kidding was an effective training strategy in, in this implementation. Get an early start with change management. Recognize that with a thoughtful strategy for an EHR implementation, anyone who reports problem with the systems or who participate in workaround after go live is likely doing so because they are resisting necessary organizational change. Answer C. Get an early start with change management. Begin an implementation with internal alignment of practice, policies, equipment so that there is so that there are consistent across organization. Sorry, so that these are consistent across organization. Develop an infrastructure of point of people from various domains to support implementation work, maintain humility.